Peace be to you. Assalamu alaikum. This is Omar Abdul Malik, physician assistant and health educator. Uh, I wanted to uh, take several minutes um, to talk to you guys about um, the the um, rigorous journey of becoming a physician assistant and actually being a PA. I was talking to some students, some of you all in the uh, comments section, um, some of you all who I've spoken to on, on uh, Instagram and over the phone, uh, and there's this question of why are the standards to get into PA school so high? So uh, for those of you guys who aren't too familiar with, with the standards, just academically, um, this is quantitatively speaking, the average GPA is about 3.5. And the average science GPA is, is I, I believe, about 3.6. And, and um, the average student has about uh, 2,000 hours of what are called direct patient uh, contact hours before even applying to PA school. So many of the, the uh, pre-PA students are nurses, phlebotomists, respiratory therapists. Um, some are, uh, one of my colleagues was a speech language pathologist or therapist rather and you say wow that's that's that is that's really tough to go through before you even get to become a PA now when I applied to PA school back in 1990 1996 um, I went to Howard and at the time I think you needed I believe it was a 2.24 if I'm not mistaken or uh, like a 2.4 a really low GPA just to get into the PA school and you didn't need the direct patient contact hours there was a a, uh, a plethora of um, associate programs that were still around so you could get your associates in PA there were a few um, a few cert certificate programs still left and you know several baccalaureate programs now the standard is you need a, a bachelor's degree before you even apply to PA school um, and it's it's an obligatory master's degree program it's only two years but it's incredibly intense and before you even get in the the preparation uh, the, the preparation uh, um, activities are, are very intense why is that I believe that um, well there's a couple of reasons one um, because the the um, the medical field is it's a business you know at, at the bottom line uh, PAs are commanding higher salaries now as one uh, internist yelled at me you guys are undercutting us <laughs> so you know the fact of the matter is is that there are some hospitals or hospitals groups that can save you know, literally um, hundreds of thousands if not a couple of million dollars by hiring physician assistants or, or even nurse practitioners for say a hundred thirty thousand to a hundred fifty thousand a year um, and you know instead of getting a uh, an MD for two hundred to two hundred fifty thousand depending on the specialty and that, that's that's one reason so it's just driven by the economy it's not necessarily anybody's fault or one person's fault it's 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 the economy it includes tuition you know, school tuition, um, time spent training, the burgeoning um, uh, elderly population in this country, um, the, the um, paucity of, of, of doctors and nurses that we have now. So uh, the PA field is, is relatively new. It's only 51 years old, I think. So, you know, you've got this relatively new, highly function, highly functioning a professional called a physician assistant who can write some prescriptions, do physical exams, diagnose patients, order labs, and save, you know, the patient in many ways a lot of time and money, and save facilities and healthcare organizations, healthcare organizations a lot of time and money. So it's it's supply and demand, and there simply aren't enough PAs to fill the void yet. So you know our our value has, has increased markedly so th that that makes that makes the demands on us a lot higher 
uh, but with those demands, our training has got to be a lot more intense. So where somebody with you know not that much experience could get in, and not that you know not the best grades in the world could get in to PA school, that's no longer the case. <laughs> You've got 2,000 applicants for you know a class size of 35 students. Uh, another reason why PA school standards are up so high is because it's very very intense. I guess that last comment I made segues into why. You know, the, the program is extremely intense. Anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, clinical chemistry, uh, pathophysiology, then your rotations, surgical rotations, OBGYN. Yeah, all of these things, you gotta get these in 24 to 30 months. And then go out, you know, take your, your pants, your uh, physician assistant national certification exam, get somebody to hire you, uh, get your license and you hit the ground running. I work with with um, a few PAs who are who are new graduates. You know, they, they they graduated less than a year ago, but they're expected to function like seasoned PAs in, in many many instances, and, and they do, which is which is pretty awesome. And I think it speaks volumes about the uh, the quality of, of the physician assistant education. And somebody like me with, with 20 years experience is expected to, to function even higher. So in the past 72 hours, I have run codes. You know, it's, it's great to see myself actually do things, you know, that I've, I've only, I only saw in movies or on TV shows. I'm the guy screaming for the epinephrine and the chest compressions and, you know, the atrophy. And, you know, all this other stuff that I used to just watch on television. I'm doing that. Uh, the doctor's not looking over my shoulder. I'll call the doctor and say, okay, this is the situation. This is what happened. Um, I'm the one doing the diagnosing, you know, um, calling for uh, different labs and so forth. I have pronounced people dead. You know, they were do not resuscitate. I've called the families. I've spoken. I've contacted um, doctors for, for consults, whether it's a cardiology or a renal consult. And they expect me to know what I'm talking about. I'm not expected to be the expert when it comes to cardiology or you know, other specialties, but I'm, an, I'm expected to understand the language of the specialist. There's a, a very high level of expectation in terms of my competency as an experienced PA. So yeah, the standards have got to be very high. And you know what can happen is that your knowledge basis can go your knowledge base can, can decrease as you're as you've been practicing for quite a while I try not to let that happen to myself but you know the, with the academics you, you have to start out with uh, getting the best and the brightest and the only way to do that really is to judge people by their what they've been doing for the past four years in terms of their undergraduate work so you're looking for those students with very high GPAs, high GRE scores, high number of, of direct patient contact hours, previous healthcare experience. So now some schools want you to have a certification and a license in a particular healthcare field uh, before you even apply to PA school, before they even look at you and consider you for an interview. Um, and again, it goes with the expectation of of uh, the function of physician assistants, you know, that's that's just the way it is. <laughs> I, I think it's a great thing. PAs are being used in greater capacities now. Um, some PAs are, are actually running. I've run clinics. They're running clinics. They're running hospitals. They're sitting on boards of directors. They're running research labs. Uh, so when you have that type of expectation um, placed upon you. You have to start with very high expectations from the students. That's just the way it is. So I hope that that is a very circuitous way of, of answering a um, probably a very simple question. But um, I hope you guys uh, are interested in this field. It's 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 great being a PA. Um, I could have left it many many years ago, but I'm, I'm in it because um, I, I really enjoy it. I love medicine. So I wish you guys the best of success in your in your positive endeavors. You can reach me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, and Twitter. 
if you're interested in becoming a PA, uh, we'll, we, we can, we can uh, discuss that and I hope I can facilitate that for you. Take care. Peace.